<gasps> Let's do it. Who's up for a challenge today? We are gonna make Gordon Ramsay's 10 recipe, meaning he does a recipe in 10 minutes. And today we're gonna do his Asian inspired street food noodles. And we're gonna put it all together in the pan in 10 minutes, prepping as we go and having a heart attack, but we're so excited. 10 minutes, y'all, we can do it. Time started. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is put, no, I've already messed up. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our bacon up first. So he had some of his ingredients prepped. So we only prepped what he had prepped, but he does do a lot of chopping during the 10 minutes. We're already a minute down, Gina, we gotta go. What? Yeah, we just started. No. So the goal here is to get them crispy. Well, my bacon's really fatty, so it's hard to cut through. Yours all cut already? Yes. So he said this was a recipe from Indonesia, which he traveled to. I have not, but he says that it is like the best place to get street food, and sometimes the street food is better than the restaurant food. Maybe I added too many bacon. I'm still on my bacon. I'm not gonna make it to the 10 minute cat. Just go without me. <laughs> As Gina is doing this, we're on the clock, so I'm gonna go. You can see the excitement and the stress is getting to me. Okay, we need some oyster sauce, some soy sauce. Some brown sugar, ground coriander, some uh, ginger paste, some crushed garlic. So I didn't have oyster sauce. Do you think I could use fish sauce? No. Oh. This is going to be our sauce. Did you add some pepper flakes or the, he has something spicy in there. Oh yeah, you know, I did not, I totally forgot about it. And uh, I'm just gonna skip it. But you know, my sauce is really thick. I'm gonna add a little bit more soy. It's a little sweet, but it's got a zing to it. I might add more soy sauce. Tina, we got four minutes. No problem, we're halfway through. We're gonna get our eggs ready. So two eggs we're gonna beat, and we're going to pour this egg right over our bacon. Oh, I got a lot of grease in my pan. No time. You know how I feel about grease, cat. I know, but street oh. food, street food is greasy. Oh. I feel like I should take some out. Three minutes, 3.45. Okay, so now we're going to put our eggs right over the bacon. Okay. A lot of grease. It's a lot it's of grease. grease. Like, uh, I'm gonna take some out. I can't. I don't have time. I can't, I can't, I can't. There is no time. I have time. I won't make time. So you can use whatever greens you have. He says something like, you know, Asian greens, which could be like bok choy, Chinese broccoli. Okay, I'm gonna cut these slanted. Slice it thinly, because the yeah. thinner you slice it, the crispier it'll be. Mm. And then um, you're gonna also slice your green onion. Gina, we only have two minutes. We are failing. We haven't put our, our noodles in the sauce in the dish yet. Oh, are we supposed to do that now? You're right. Yeah. Let's put our noodles in. Oh no. Why? Why? I'm gonna put my veggies on top. We only got only got one minute left. Okay. What? I'm gonna move this right. around and let it caramelize for the next minute. We'll put the sauce on and then we'll be done. I don't know what's taking me so long. I'm gonna watch this video and see how cat is so fast. I'm gonna let this caramelize in 40 seconds and then I'll put the sauce on. Okay, we've hit the 10 minute. We actually didn't make it, but. We're gonna put the sauce on now. I figured that's like part of the whole thing. Once you put the sauce in, you are ready to go. He said don't put all the sauce in because you're gonna drizzle some of that sauce on top when you serve. Once the sauce mixes through, you can plate. Oh, the beef sprouts. I don't know, I feel like when Gordon Ramsay was making this, he was a lot more calmer <laughs> than we were. I felt okay, but I think it was more of cat making me feel stressed <laughs> rather than the recipe. Cat's a rule follower. We try to follow it as close to as Gordon Ramsay, thinking that somehow it'll come out as good as Gordon Ramsay, even though he's a Michelin star chef, so I don't know. 
We're trying over here. We're trying. The time has come. Was the stress for Kat worth it? Because <laughs> I wasn't stressed. It's good. It's not phenomenal, but it's really good, especially considering how quick it was and easy. I think for me, because I had the fatty bacon, I would need more time to cook it down so it was crispier. I started throwing things in before it actually got to the crispy state, so I think it would be a better eating experience if it was crispy. I think it's phenomenal. And the udon noodles are perfect, and if you didn't know, you didn't even have to like... Wait, you did udon noodles? Came in a fresh what did you okay. use? Um, I use Chinese um, stir fry noodles. Didn't he say to use udon noodles? No, he said to use um, like Chinese like rice noodles or whatever. Uh, and in oh. the video, he uses it, and it's like yellow. I don't think so. Believe who you want. Okay, it is good. It's yummy. But Gina, did you drizzle some of that sauce on when you finished plating? Because I noticed you poured the whole thing in. I did. Because that's what I do. <laughs> I would totally make this again. Gordon Ramsay, again, another winner. Are we surprised? We are always so glad that you watched our videos. Come visit us next week and don't forget to like our video and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Ta da! I'm gonna do quite a bit. Look at all this good seasoning brownness. <laughs>